Okay, so welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode, we returned the dragon egg and did a bunch of stuff. So you can go back and watch that. So right now, we have to select a new quest, but there is something right here. Rebellion. There we go. Yeah, and we're in Honeydukes, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we are. So the new quest... Probably Gook. Okay. Where is that on the map? Oh, it's in Hogwarts. Oh. Yeah, we can go right here. And then just, you know, take it over. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hogsmeade. When Hogwarts. Oh my, so many stairs. Okay, we made it. We made it. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. I was just about to say that. It's gobbledygook. I can only imagine how horrible this is gonna sound. Holy crap, let's go. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Let's go. Wait. Revelio. Oh, this is actually a really cool place to watch the game. Wait, he left. Oh. To watch the Quidditch match. It's so cool. Okay, let's head over there. How far is this? And can we fast travel anywhere? Damn. Holy crap, dude. And as usual, we don't have any. So we're going to have to take it right here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I think we can take the broom. Wait, hold on. There we go. I forgot how to fly this thing. Whoa. Oh, this is another one of the places. How the fuck do I... A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. It's the collection that we're supposed to have. Oh, we're full. Can I please jump across? <gasps> the astronomy go. table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Yeah, the astronomy table. Am I gonna have to turn it to nighttime? Actually, let's get... Let's sidetrack a bit, because I kind of want to get that. Here I'm trying to focus on the main story. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Okay, let's see if this works. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Capricornus. Okay, we got that. We knocked that out the way. 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's head over there. Uh, would it be better if I turn it to daytime? Oh no, he's here. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Okay. But you had no choice. You should have expected that, yeah. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, come on. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I mean, well, it's not 100%, but yeah. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Ah, shit. Dude said he didn't even recognize it as a language. Wait, let's get this fast travel right here. There we go. You two seem ready for adventure. We are. But if we're gonna do that, we're gonna need Loomis. We're gonna need the disillusion. Yeah, so that. Gonna need this at some point. And I like this spell, but. It doesn't seem to have much effect. Whatever, we'll we'll deal with it. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, that's the eye. The door is looking at us. I didn't think it would Defender. be that, you know. 
I'll be quiet. I didn't think it would be off rip. I thought it was more inside. So what we gotta do is move very slowly. Yo. It's kinda cool though. It's on the swivel, like, yo, nothing catches this motherfucker off guard. Look at it. Caught shit, that man. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. Oh. It's even grander than I had expected. It was supposed to be um, daytime, so we can get rid of um, Loomis. Okay, so I can put Crucio circle. I don't think we're gonna need it. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple. Rebellion. Guys. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. What's that? I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull that, right? Uh, think. Akio? Yes. Akio! There we go. What? That, that was it? That's all there was? I've read about mines like this. See? Something else altogether. Akio. Water power, dude. It's so cool down here. I like this. I like that. I'll meet you. Need to stay oh, close shit. to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. How do I get to that? Whatever. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. What is this? A schematic. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? You can read it. Confringa! Rebellion. Come on. Oh, 
we're gonna have to go up. Wait, what's down here? Revelio. The schematics, let's go. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. You will get to the bottom of it. Okay, should we take the stairs or this? I'm not even sure which way is the right way. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing. Ah! Fancy I my own operation work out when that Bam. Confring ah! ah! Akio. Ah! Oh shit. What the fuck? Curse you. Couldn't bring the bug. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. But Let what me does know it if say? you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Okay. Rebellion. Empty-headed. Bro, I have got to visit a shop and sell some of these equipments. I'm missing way too much. Okay, I think I got everything up here that I can carry at least. more of them. Okay, I need to swap this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And what else can I swap it for? I think I'm, I think I'm good. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this really is too much. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This couldn't bring more complex than I had expected. Not that complex one. Oh, well, as soon as I remove it, come on. Akio. Not sure what that did, but I'm sure it did something. 
Revelio. Revelio. Or something else. Here. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Speak the truth. What else? What else? Wait, he's still up there. Oh! We can go through here? I thought the water would be too... Okay, whatever, I guess. Guess we can. Akio. Let's speed this up. Okay, blow up a loyalist. What, Senate? Sento? Yeah. Bombarda. Venomous. I don't think I have any of those. Oh, I have one. Okay. And I'm going to need, where is it, this, actually, and, wait, what do we have? There we go. Seems quiet. Too quiet. No. Such arrogance. Bro, that did nothing. Red guys. Kill spells glance off of me. Are you sure? Stop it. Dude, I don't know what the other one is saying. Should be the last of them, I'll meet. Rebellion.
That fight was so sloppy. How do I even get up here? Okay, whatever. Descender. Wrong thing. Akia. Wait. Um, do I have to light something? Rebellion. Oh. Turn invisible. Is that just it? This what does this do? Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Oh, we have to yeah. Get free. <laughs> what the fuck are we climbing up? This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgo what we found. Drills. So you're telling me I'm gonna have to go all the way back, dude? Akio. What did that do? What did that do? Oh, it's a lift. Yes. We don't gotta go all the way around. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Bro, we need to stop just bringing anybody on our adventures. Akio. Not everybody's big for this. Some people can't handle it. You know? Bro, what? We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Wait, what? So what? <laughs> he said the lift. We don't need it. We just need to run out. That was strange. How did he make it out before me? Can we please talk about what just happened? You see, this is what I'm talking about. We can't just include everyone, dude. Now he wants to talk about it. Now he's going to start asking questions about it. We don't need that. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without start. further ado, <laughs> at you. I can agree on that. Said so he gets to write the book. I want to read that. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. 
She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with the strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodcock, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. That was a lot, dude. He said a lot. I actually enjoyed that cutscene. Wow. I wonder if much, you know, how much more quests we have before we actually beat the game. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk to Poppy. Definitely. Definitely. Where is she? She's out back. So we can go right here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Poppy. Oh good, you're safe. I'm safe. What about you? You're out here alone. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. Oh, shit. We gotta go kill them, bro. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. The Snidget? Like the golden Snidget? Like the one that they use in Quidditch? Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. 
From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Grand thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Uh, let's not underestimate them saying that they're not that clever. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidgets feathers and yep. eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. There we go. At least I remember that one from the quiz. That uh, I don't remember her name. Remember when she quizzed us, asking us all these questions in the library? Yeah, I remember that one. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that, dude. Yeah, they... No, no. I wouldn't ask them for help. I really wouldn't. Centaurs aren't known for being the friendliest lot. Especially not with wizard kind, and not right now. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Let her think on it. Let's go. Just don't do anything rash. Okay, what's this one that popped up on my screen? What's this? Professor what? Ni Nimam? Yeah, fuck out of here. Actually, since we're already on Hogwarts grounds, I can just run over there. See you. Protego. Wait, 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 wait. Laced wig flies. What? What is that used for? What are they used for? How are these important? Okay, whatever. Nice, nice. We're here. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Let's go. Now we gotta sneak into the headmaster's office. Ah, oh, shit. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Good question. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Really good question. So, where do we go from here? <laughs> like, yeah. I was kind of waiting for them to tell me, like, what should I do? Should I meet up with Professor? Or what? Nice. We're here. Now here, Professor Fig, 
The Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him when to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. That's not crazy. This is not crazy. I want to see the reaction of the students when I walk past. Holy shit, hold on. Wait. Professor, a moment oh, of your time, oh, please. Shit. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. What is it? Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Okay, I say that went smooth. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Wait, Move I'm aside. going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! 
What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> We're really living up to the part. Well, there's one for my diary. We are really playing the part. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor Black, how are you, sir? Ominous. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Okay, then. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Yo. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. That would be unwise. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> Yo, said I wonder why. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Crazy. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Damn, bro, I didn't know Polyjuice Potion affected the brain. Wait, where, am, where the fuck am I going? Oh, yes. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift <laughs> approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? I keep calling her Broom. Something seems a little off. <laughs> yeah. It's Bloom with an L, not Broom. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Yo. Ah, uh, shit. A word, 
please. Mm -hmm. Hello, mm -hmm. Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how uh, delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Um, don't worry about him. And I don't miss him. He's on the secret. Wait. Uh. Yo, I want to say both. I want to say both. He's handling secret minister matters. And I don't miss him. I'm going to say this one. I realize that. And I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. I should have told her I was handling professional A wonderful business. job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. <laughs> that ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Croaks as hard a worker as any house elf. Ahem. Attention, students. Oh. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. You dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scroop begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family Motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Uh... It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is... Always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! You can't be shitting me. Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ugh. Bruh. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Yep. <coughs> we gotta go. Ah, <coughs> <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Oh. Wait. There we go. No idea what I just got. Oh, I'm full. Should have known.
We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. It's always the Forbidden Forest. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Let's go. Well, I can't go in yet? Come on. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Pure. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Pretty much. Take a spot of tea before the journey. Okay. That must be the pedestal. Oh shit. Where oh am my I? goodness. Professor Fitzgerald. We're can you hear negative. Me? I am here. In this place, you may call me leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. What the fuck? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Why she looks so cool, though? Yo. a really good sketch I'm supposed to avoid them or you know can I kill them So this is pure stealth. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Come on. So what's the purpose of having the this if I can't? I need to time this just right. How can I with that dude in the front? I think the moment is right. I see a staircase straight ahead. What staircase?
You know what I realized? This game is oh shit. Staring death in the face. So this is on PS5, right? I can only imagine, but wait, this game is also available on the Switch, the Nintendo Switch. I can only imagine how this looks, because Nintendo Switch is already not a powerful console the in itself. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Oh shit. Why do they keep turning that? Can we fucking move fast, dude? Why are we still staring? But yeah, I can only imagine how awful this looks on the Nintendo Switch, dude. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. The graphics are already isn't that good with the Switch. Now Too imagine many. all of this. I must cross this road as fast as I can. He needs to shut the fuck up and just do it. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. I don't know what this guy's problem is. Come on. What, what now? Now's my chance. the way forward so go forward can this be i think i'm invisible wait i'm gonna am i gonna have to go around or some shit So I can just walk past them. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? death thus far but have yet to find me keep searching but this time you will be unable to hide wield the wand you see before you do not squander its extraordinary power I've never 
felt such power. Descender. What am I doing? Defender. Bombarder. Like subconsciously, I knew it was Bombarder. I don't know why I tried all of them. I really don't. play the game oh my dear descender Yo, I got the fucking cut. Yo, I can't make two steps without this shit going to a cutscene or a cinematic. <laughs> yep, I knew it. I knew another one. Realize there's a freaking time limit. Descender. 
In circle. I'm holding the circle. Be for me. So go get it. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. Let us always honor her memory. We won't be the same without her. What is this, the resurrection stone or some shit? You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Fuck. 
boy. Holy shit. So you're gonna see a teardrop. Yep. In black and white. Why is there a memory monochrome though? Is it gonna be like this even during the pensive? Oh no. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Okay, back to reality, or at least one with, you know, color. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. That's disturbing. I must say this one. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. 
Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. <laughs> 